Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Sunday, it's July 3rd, and we are celebrating the 14th Sunday of Ordinary Time. And so friends, let's begin our, hold on, let's begin our morning prayer with the invitatory. Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship the Lord, for we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great king over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him. The dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massah, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come worship the Lord, for we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Alleluia. Sing with all the sons of glory, sing the resurrection song. Death and sorrow, earth's dark story, to the former days belong. All around the clouds are breaking, soon the storms of time shall cease. In God's likeness man awaking knows the everlasting peace. O oh, what glory far exceeding all that I has yet perceived. Holiest hearts for ages pleading, never that full joy conceived. God has promised, Christ prepares it, there on high our welcome waits. Every humble spirit shares it, Christ has passed the eternal gates. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Alleluia. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love endures forever. Let the sons of Israel say, his love endures forever. Let the sons of Aaron say, his love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his love endures forever. I called to the Lord in my distress. He answered and freed me. The Lord is at my side. I do not fear. What can man do against me? The Lord is at my side as my helper. I shall look down on my foes. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in men. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. The nations all encompassed me. In the Lord's name I crushed them. They compassed me, compassed me about. In the Lord's name I crushed them. They compassed me about like bees. They blazed like a fire among thorns. In the Lord's name I crushed them. I was hard-pressed and was falling, but the Lord came to help me. The Lord is my strength and my song. He is my Savior. There are shouts, there are shouts of joy and victory in the tents of the just. The Lord's right hand has triumphed. His right hand raised me. The Lord's right hand has triumphed. I shall not die. I shall live and recount his deeds. I was punished. I was punished by the Lord, but not doomed to die. Open to me the gates of holiness. I will enter and give thanks. This is the Lord's own gate, where the just may enter. I will thank you, for you have answered, and you are my Savior. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. O Lord, grant us salvation. O Lord, grant success. Blessed in the name of the Lord is he who comes. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord God is our light. 
go forward in procession with branches, even to the altar. You are my God, I thank you. My God, I praise you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love endures forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord God, you have given us the great day of rejoicing. Jesus Christ, the stone rejected by the builders, has become the cornerstone of the church, our spiritual home. Shed upon your church the rays of your glory, that it may be seen as the gate of salvation open to all nations. Let cries of joy and exaltation ring out from its tent to celebrate the wonder of Christ's resurrection. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Alleluia. Let us sing a hymn of praise to our God. Alleluia. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and glorious above all forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious forever. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us sing a hymn of praise to our God. Alleluia. Praise the Lord for his infinite greatness. Alleluia. Praise God in his holy place. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his powerful deeds. Praise his surpassing greatness. O oh, praise him with sound of trumpet. Praise him with lute and harp. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and pipes. O oh, praise him with resounding cymbals. Praise him with clashing of cymbals. Let everything that lives and that breathes give praise to the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord God, maker of heaven and earth, and of all created things, you make your just ones holy, and you justify sinners who confess your name. Hear us as we humbly pray to you. Give us eternal joy with your saints. Praise the Lord for his infinite greatness. Alleluia. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. I will sprinkle clean water upon you to cleanse you from all your impurities. And from all your idols, I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and place a new spirit within you, taking from your bodies your stony hearts and giving you natural hearts. I will put my spirit within you and make you live by my statutes, careful to observe my decrees. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We give you thanks, O God, as we call upon your name. We give you thanks, O God, as we call upon your name. We cry aloud how marvelous you are as we call upon your name. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. We give, you thank, we give thanks to you, O God, as we call upon your name. <clears throat> many who heard the teaching of Jesus were astonished and said, excuse me, many who heard the teaching of Jesus were astonished and said, where, he did, where did he get all this? Is he not the carpenter, the son of Mary? Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. 
This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Many who heard the teaching of Jesus were astonished and said, Where did he get all this? Is he not the carpenter, the son of Mary? Let us give thanks to our Savior who came into this world as God's presence among us. Let us call upon him. Christ, King of glory, be our light and our joy. Lord Jesus, you are the rising sun, the first fruits of the future resurrection. Grant that we may not sit in the shadow of death, but walk in the light of life. Christ, King of glory, be our light and our joy. Show us your goodness present in every creature, that we may contemplate your glory everywhere. Christ, King of glory, be our light and our joy. Do not allow us to be overcome by evil today, but grant that we may overcome evil through the power of good. Christ, King of glory, be our light and our joy. You were baptized in the Jordan and anointed by the Holy Spirit. Grant that we may this day give thanks to your Holy Spirit. Christ, our Christ, King of glory, be our light and our joy. Gathering these prayers, these praises, gathering these prayers, and calling to mind our own prayers, our own petitions. As we remember all of those people who have asked for our prayers, each of those people that we've promised to pray for, we pray those sacred words of Jesus himself, and together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, through the obedience of Jesus, your servant and your son, you raised up a fallen world. Free us from sin and bring us to the joy that lasts forever. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. And friends, may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Friends, thank you for joining me today for morning prayer from the Liturgy of the Hours. Um, how good it is for us joining together each morning, praying the prayer of the church, praying with the church, through the church, but on behalf of the church, praying for her and for all of her members. And then you and I throughout this day, um, praying with and praying for one another, but throughout the day, so that whatever you face today, all of your joys, um, all of your glories, um, all of the graces that you experience, but then all of the challenges, all of the obstacles, all of the struggle, you face none of it alone because we're here praying with and for one another, united in prayer this entire day. Friends, um, it does look like it's going to be just a beautiful day here in West Michigan. So if you're in West Michigan, I hope you're able to get out and, and enjoy it. Um, if you're not in West Michigan, I hope that wherever you are, um, you got a beautiful day as well. So friends, whether you are out and about today, whether you're staying in, remember to be safe today. Remember to be healthy today, to be happy today, but above all, remember to be holy today, that on this Sunday, you yourself get to live out the holiness of Jesus Christ, the holiness of our baptisms today. May God be praised in you, may God be praised through you, and friends, I really do hope that you have a beautiful day today.